market update for the 7th. So uh, I'm going to start on the yields for today. 10-year uh, yield is back at 3% after going all the way down to 2.75. And uh, I think this pullback on what looks like to be the start of a second wave is bullish for equities currently. Um, what can we expect, though, as far as how far it can fall? I think yields can fall all the way back to this line at 1.92 to 1.55, which would be um, exactly, now I'm looking at it, exactly the 2.61 FIB. So the 2.61 FIB hits exactly on the 6.1, the 0.61 FIB pullback. So pretty much exactly, a little bit off, I guess, but exactly. So that's actually my target right there. I think that's the most likely point we go to. Hit the support in here, and that would finish the second wave. Right now, I think we probably hit an A wave right here, and then we are bouncing for a B wave. And then we should get one more move down here to uh, these targets. So if yields are going up, that's obviously normally bullish for equities. If they're falling, it's bearish for equities. And um, so I'm expecting that fall to happen when the absolute fall and SPY happens to like 330, 340 here um, in about a month or two. So going over to the VIX, VIX uh, is still down today at 26, expecting it to fall probably to this trend line, maybe low 20, something like that. I think that it's uh, got to fall down this low, and then when it ramps up to um, the target I've been talking about for a while, maybe like 45 to 50, maybe higher than that, it'll have a lot of room to go up higher. And so I think that the fall in SPY is going to be pretty powerful. The dollar is still being pretty uh, stubborn in this third wave. Still looking for a pullback on the monthly chart, as you can see, like I talked about in the last video. Uh, if we can get a pullback to like 103 to 101 over the month of July, I wouldn't be surprised if that's when it happens because if we start falling in the overall market, then I think it's going to be, uh, if the dollar is consolidating, I can't see the overall market falling significantly. So I think that move's gotta happen here soon. Hopefully by the start of August, we get that fourth wave. Um, then going over to SPY, I'm on the daily chart because it's easiest to see. If you zoom in on uh, the lower time frames, it's kinda hard to read right now, but I'm still sticking with this A, B, and then a C move up here for this double X um, overall move. And the 1.61 FIB of this A move is right around 410, 409, 410, something like that. And so I have that marked right here with the line. And also, usually ABC patterns will stay in between parallel lines. And so I have that intersecting around July 22nd. If we go a little bit higher than that, then it gets stretched out. I don't think we get higher than this top here at 417.59. So anything is possible, but I would say that would probably be the highest we go. Anywhere from 409 to 417 is going to be my target, probably on the lower side. So I'll zoom out one more time to show you the overall picture. We have ABC, ABC, ABC. A, B, C, and then, whoops, and then A, B, no, actually, on this last one, it's going to be, no, it's going to be A, B, C as well, so A, B, C, and then, obviously, within the C move right here, you can see that there's a five-wave move. We had one, two, three, four, five, so looking good today, up 1.5%, uh, moving in the right direction, as we expected. So look out for higher moves. We might get a pullback here soon. Uh, maybe this will be, you'll be able to actually see this move. Maybe it'll be one, two, three, four, five on the daily chart. Or maybe it happens so quickly we won't even see any red bars on the daily chart. It might go down to lower time frames. 
So that's it for the market update for today. Let me know what you think in the comments. And uh, as always, like and subscribe. And I'll make another video tomorrow.